My name is Alcide Menetrier and I'm going to play the first movement of Pulling Sonata.
Good. <coughs> well, I think the first thing I'd like to do is put this piece in a little bit of a context. Okay? Um, this is not on any level a romantic piece. Yeah. Absolutely not. You know, and not only that it is not romantic, composers like Poulenc and actually Stravinsky, you know, and I mean, I realize that this is written later, you know, but he, he apparently started play, writing a violin sonata 20 years earlier, you know, and kept throwing it away because their sense of aesthetic actually rejected that very romantic, very lush sound of the violin, you know, and so they, I think that in Stravinsky's case, it was rejecting the, the, the Russian, you know, style, but, you know, Poulenc, I don't think had anything to do with that, but I mean, the idea of the violin as the instrument expressing, you know, this romantic, you know, um, um, mode, was didn't appeal to him. He simply didn't like it, you know. And he actually said, you know, that this was written for Jeanette Neveu. And you know, he said, you know, that the the lyrical, the beautiful, the beautiful parts, she helped him write, you know, because he wasn't interested in it. And why am I saying all of this? Because you are using this very, very, very expressive sound. I'm not sure if it's, mm. you know, I think that um, if we, we'll, we'll look at the movement together and if you look at it, he's more interested in breaking that down. Mm. You know, every time he gives you two bars of something melodic, immediately he, you know, he either puts a terrible, you know, dissonance in the middle of it, or he simply interrupts it and it goes somewhere else, you know. And so this is not what it's about, you know. So what is it about, you know? I mean, it's, it is a, what, what would you say is the character of this music, of this movement especially? Well, it's very tormented. So very what? Tormented. Tormented. Yeah. Okay. So with many, you know, as you said, breaks in uh -huh. in, in the music, in in the themes, mm -hmm. and so it alternatively it gets really vertical and then very horizontal, mm -hmm. and that's those those contrasts that mm -hmm. are very very. But there is one thing you're missing, and that is the half step, the chromatic. And he does that throughout the whole movement. Yeah. You know, this this duality of is it is it sharp, is it not sharp, you know? And I think it's much more important than you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, so you have to be interested in it in order to to make sure that we hear it, because there are, unfortunately, in this piece, balance problems. Not your fault, it's the composition's fault, but there are some problems, you know, and unless you make sure that we hear what we need to hear, most likely we will not hear it, you know. So when you play, I mean, the opening two bars is really like a, you know, an abrupt, you know, opening of the curtain, like, here we are, hello. You know, it's not, not polite or, or grand, but, it's, you know, really very abrupt. And then, you know, and I need to really hear, I understand there's no accent on the F sharp, I know, you know, but if you play it very, da da da, you know, then it's, it kind of gets lost, okay. okay? Let's start, first of all, from the very beginning. Could you please make sure, yum, da 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 I cannot say that I heard all of those notes. You know, I don't think it's about speed. It's it's really about ta 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 direction. <laughs> yeah, but, but play all of them, you know. So make sure that you have ta da 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 and you know don't play with more and more bow because it gets more complicated. We want precision, you know, not not anything 
other than that, actually. Can you play the upper note so that you actually listen to what we want to hear? Just play once. Da 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 da. That's, that's the upper one. Yeah. And so, which one is the one that's, that's kind of. The, the D sharp. It's actually the C sharp. D sharp? You don't the, have D sharp. This one. C sharp. C sharp, C sharp yeah. <laughs> that's right. So, make sure that that's the one we hear. Okay, and very concentrated bow, not, not too much bow, because the more bow you use, the more messy it'll get. Yes, and ta 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 So make sure that thumb, palm, right? Yeah, okay, so, I want to hear pitches. I don't want to hear, uh, 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 you know, because they're, they're really like, what? Really? Those notes? You know, we want to hear them, you know, because they're shocking. And if you don't hear them, they're not very shocking. They're just loud, okay. right? That's better, that's better. You see, so what do you have? More or less a D minor, dum, ba da 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 dum. That's, even though there are all kinds of notes inside that don't belong in D minor, we still, the impression is D minor. And then, my God, who knows? You know? <laughs> no, but it's, it's exactly what you want, right? So you have D minor, okay, great. So, what, you know, then you expect I don't know, traditionally you would have some kind of a harmony that relates to D minor, but that's not what you get. You see, and you really want to bring this out because in a way it's a perfect introduction for this duality of is it melodic, is it not melodic, is it rhythmic, is it dissonant, what is it? You know, and I think that this is the central issue of the movement, right? And he introduces it immediately at the beginning, this is it, yeah. okay? Yeah, so this is what I was talking about. I don't need that sound. Okay. It's way too much vibrato. Okay. You see, something a little more cutting mm. and more objective. D, da, D, la. You know, it's about G, F, G, F sharp. Which one? This one or that one? Don't know. And he keeps you guessing the whole way, right? Yeah, so you see, this is also important. I want. Da, da, la, da. But not melodically, you see, you're still attached to your vibrato. T da 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 di da dum. Not so expressive, right? And I, I think it's important to read what he said. He didn't like that. He actually said so. Stravinsky said he hated it, you know, so he was more extreme. But, you know, Poulenc was more polite. So he said he didn't like it, you know. So if he didn't like it, he probably didn't write it, you know. And I, mean, I think it's kind of important to know that, right? Because he was not ambiguous. He was clear. Yeah, <laughs> just didn't like it. So you have to assume that that was not a goal, right? So do from T, let all. Yeah, but, 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 you know, I don't think it's violent. Okay. I don't think so. You know, I, I don't think it's violent. Okay, so this, you know, it's very rhythmic. You know, very rhythmic, but not violent. Okay? okay? 
what, 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 what? So, by the way, you know, I know it says très violent, mm. but I don't think that means violinistically violent, okay? It means ti da 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 you know, it doesn't mean that that sound should be ugly. It doesn't mean, you know, th there are different ways. But then, it's totally different because, you, you know, you were sitting in a pretty prescribed, very narrow, you know, range, and then he's opening it up. And then, you know, what is that? You know, completely, completely different. So you have to be a little more flexible in changing moods and i fear that you are so focused on the left hand that you f you find it difficult to really to do it because the changes don't happen in the left hand you know i would i would vibrate less altogether you know and really focus much more on what is the bow doing in order to make the Très violent, but not ugly? I don't think it's, it means ugly, you know? And what do you do when you're the la la, timpara? It's not, la la, it's not that, right? Timpara, timpara. You know, it's kind of like a, a wind blowing through it or something, right? And that you have to do with your bow. Yeah. And right now, I feel that you're kind of stuck with the bow and you want to accomplish everything with the left hand. This is a, piece that more than almost any other really depends on your right hand. Okay? So do one more time from the, the same place. 